Yeah. Oh, well, I tried to start a revolution but didn't print enough pamphlets, so hardly anyone turned up, except for my mum and her boyfriend, who I hate. His punishment... That's right. It's an outrage. Take a watiti. Take a watiti. Is driving everyone insane. Because he may have forgotten something extremely important about Star Wars. This is the man that you want directing your new Star Wars film. Is it truly the man that you want directing them? I don't know because he doesn't seem to have the knowledge to direct such vaunted things as the book of boba fett or his own star wars movie i mean at this point he's supposedly doing something that's going to be so far from the skywalker trilogy that it doesn't actually matter and we're talking about taika watiti and what do we know about taika watiti well first let's talk about what he forgot and then we'll get to what he can do potentially the damage so Taika Waititi kind of forgot something important because he's doing a press junket right now for Thor, Blood and Thunder, Love and Thunder, Glove and Thunder. That's right. He's out doing interviews and he says something like, uh, you know, uh, he goes, this is an interview with Rolling Stone, the amazing magazine that covers all of the most important things, Rolling Stone. So he's working with Jane Foster, you know, Natalie Portman. And he, she said to him something about like, hey, uh, Natalie said to me, what do you, what do you do next? And I said, I'm trying to work on a Star Wars thing. Have you ever wanted to be in a Star Wars movie? And she said, I have been in Star Wars movies. <laughs> yes, because she was Padme, for those of you who forget. But think, folks, who are we talking about here? We are talking about Taika Waititi, and that was from the Mary Sue, and this is from the New York Post. The living, breathing troll that is Taika Waititi, the guy who likes to mess with the fans. So I wonder what's going on here. Is this real, or is he just messing with everybody? Is he messing with everybody's heads? I mean, we are literally talking about the man who did um, Jojo Rabbit, where he decided to cast himself as Hitler. That seems like somebody who's willing to mess with people. Do you not agree? So maybe we shouldn't get so mad and think about it. He's going to do something that's unrelated to the Skywar uh, Skywalker trilogy. So who cares? You know, my only thing is, is he going to bring something that's totally together? Is he going to bring something that's good? You know, I feel that Ragnarok's a little overrated. I like some of what he does. I mean, the man is, is a little strange, but what if... What if he had the idea to redo the original trilogy? Ho, 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 now we're talking. What if Taika Waititi did the original trilogy, but cast Natalie Portman as Princess Leia? That's right. You heard it here, folks. We're pitching ideas. Maybe you have some good ideas down in the comments below, but what I think they should do is cast Natalie Portman as her own mom. That's right complete the grandfather paradox make natalie portman not only be padma but she could also be princess leia a 40 something year old princess leia but that doesn't matter because when it comes to star wars you could change anything you want you don't have to stick with lore we can make darth reva if we want we could have baby princess leia could just be r2d2 let's just do it let's let's do it we can have padma we can have Padma, Princess Leia, both played by Natalie Portman. We can also have baby Princess Leia. I know there was a new actress, but maybe Natalie Portman can play her too. Maybe Tessa Thompson can play C-3PO. I mean, I think we're on to something here. Chris Hemsworth could play Grand Moff Tarkin. I'm sure. I mean, he has recently taken a turn as a villain in Spiderhead. I think we're putting it all together here, folks. I don't think there's any reason why we can't completely change the original trilogy. I mean, why not just have Ewan McGregor play Obi-Wan Kenobi again? I can, this is perfect. I can see it here now, folks. We've got a winner. 
Winner Winner Chicken Dinner, the original trilogy redone by Taika Waititi. And you know what Star Wars has always been missing? A little more humor and brighter colors. I know the lightsabers are bright and flashy and you get, I mean, you mostly just get red and green. Maybe sometimes you get a blue. Why not chartreuse? Why not a little more color? You know, and maybe then some stark contrast with some black and white. I don't know. I'm thinking about this. I'm just spitballing here. Could be anything. Again, he says, <laughs> you know, uh, maybe Liam Neeson can be in it too. Why not bring Kwai John Jin back? But maybe Kwai John replaces Yoda and is just a salty Irishman. Just, again, throwing it out there. You never know. You could literally do anything with the lore now. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. <laughs> he's got so many projects to work on. Apparently, he's still working on Our Flag Means Death, which got renewed by HBO for another season. He's got Time Bandits, which I think is like a remake of an 80s movie. I think. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure I saw it, but I don't remember exactly. And in that time, he is writing the new Star Wars story. And he doesn't know what it's going to be. He's still trying to figure it out. In fact, I'm pretty sure he said it doesn't... The story he has in his mind doesn't make that much sense. So, and he doesn't care about pleasing the fans. Which is, I mean, fine. <laughs> Die-hard Star Wars found, <laughs> fans found his lack of knowledge disturbing. I mean, and th this is sort of a good point. Why do they keep giving Star Wars movies to directors who aren't that knowledgeable about Star Wars in the first place? I mean, they have fired a lot of directors. They have. I mean, they fired Lord and Miller, fired Trevor... Uh, what's his name? Trevor... Uh, the guy who direct, directs Jurassic Park. Colin Trevorrow, that guy. Who else have they... They fired a ha quite a handful of people. Maybe they'll even fire more. I mean, when they brought in the writers of Obi-Wan, they didn't care about anything with canon. Like, you do whatever you want now. But you know what? Princess Leia, she can marry Poppins herself. Vader does weird kung fu now. He rips apart spaceships sometimes. Sometimes he doesn't. I mean, if you want to hear more of me ranting about Star Wars, there are plenty of videos up there. I, I can't. I'm just not going to get myself mad anymore. I'm, go I'm going to try to keep it down. I'm going to settle myself down. And you know what? Taika Waititi, fine. Whatever, man. Star Wars, whatever, man. I just I can't bring myself to care. You know, and look, if he's going to do something that is not in the original, like if it's outside of the original trilogy, and he just wants to do people with lightsabers fighting things, go and do it. You do it. Maybe he'll star. I'm sure he'll star. Not star, but he'll have a role in it where he plays some random character. I mean, I like him as Korg. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm... As usual, I am confusion. But is this a good move for Star Wars? Is it a bad move? Are they going to give him a trilogy just like they gave Rian Johnson a trilogy and then take that trilogy away from him? Are they going to bring back J.J. Abrams to replace Taika Waititi? Who knows at this point? But let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you like what we do here. We love to interact. We do have amazing, amazing podcast. It is free. You can download it anywhere iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. You can also in have fun and stream with us because we stream Friday nights, the podcast. It's crazy. It gets off the off the chain, off the hook. Come join us. It's a lot of fun. Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But as for myself, I'm out to the next one.